Hello my Abaiko, my name is Romy Apa. Today we are playing again Fahrenheit the Indigo Prophecy, the remastered shit. And now I just wanna continue off where we kinda last left off on the episode that just kinda get more backstory of Lucas, you know, going somewhere into the you know, to go look from a fucking psychic and shit and whatnot. And we have Carly Valianti and Tyler Miles into the police station trying to crack the case of Lucas Kane. Was it Lucas Kane? I don't know. But anyway, we are gonna try and play as Carla Valianti more because I kinda like her as a character. So, so okay. how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Uh, Several elements match the ammo of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? Mm, uncertain. We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. All right. So, what's the plan now? Boss? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Mm. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, the book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. Hmm, I need to verify about something. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Oh. Yeah. You've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. There should be a switch box around here. Switch box? What do you need a switch box for? Alright, apparently me, our Carla, Carla here has an issue with freaking claustrophobia. And I, for one, oh There's boy. There's no way I'm leaving here empty handed. The Kirsten file has gotta be somewhere, and I'm not leaving until I find it. Alright, where, then where the fuck is the switch? I don't know where the switch at. The switch over here? Hello, oh, is it that box over there? Over there, me remember there? No, I cannot go look over there. All right then. Um, um, me for one, I'm scared of fucking dolls. I don't know why. Maybe because it was fucking Jackie. Need you did that shit to me. Oh, I found the switch. Light to room. Turn on the light to right. All right, it's turned off. Oh, it's on. All right. I press the A key and the D key to turn to make Carla breathe. Okay, come stay calm. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I have to move while doing this shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, this is a lot new another level. Oh, this is a whole new other level. Alright, just keep calm. Alright. 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 Just keep it in the middle. Oh, I, I can't freaking talk because if I talk, I might fucked up. Alright. Carla, you will not die. Will not cry out of your phobia. Just like when I did. I conquered my phobia. Fucking scared of dolls. 
Alright, All right, it's fucking. Oh shit. Um. Is it. We have to do something again. Oh, it's luck. Alright, um. Oh, this one. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting nervous for Carla here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Just tap it in. Tap it. In. Oh my guys. Tap it in. Now it's turn to do. turn this thing on. Yes. There we go. We're almost at the computer terminal. Yes. Yes, baby. No more cluster phobia right into this bitch room. It's room we won. Won the game of foreign high two. Here's the archive terminal. Yes. One. Can Without consult the failing. file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten files should be in the 1990s. 1990s. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay. 1990s. Oh fuck. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go to the computer now? Oh, on now. Let's go to the computer now, I guess. There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. I have to go back. Oh my god, I have to go back, boys. Right on back to the start. Don't let your fear control you. Fear is an unmoving, relentless piece of shit that you have to control. I, I remember I need to push it first, this one. Yep, there we go. I'm really, really panicking about right here for Carla over here because I love Carla, but if I fucking messed up, she might be dead. All right, in which I don't, I hate that shit. You know, it's like fucking heavy rain all over this shit. One of the characters died because of idiocity. Uh, is this a switch? All right, the switch is here. All right, people, just keep calm, keep a calm, keep a calm, keep calm and collected, do, and that and everything will be fine. Oh, how are we all doing, guys? You guys, do you have any fucking phobias and shit? Oh me, ha. <laughs> As I said earlier, I'm fucking scared of freaking dolls. I don't know why. As I said, speak of fucking Chucky, who fucking scared the shit out of me. Okay, good. The terminal uh, works. Now I just gotta find and pull the file. Oh my god, I have to keep doing this shit? Now I have to find the files? Where do I find the files? Oh shit, the room. It's starting. My hands, they're shaking. Just relax. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Did I get it the right year? Please say it, man. Did I get it right? Mm, nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. Fuck. Oh, I need to do this shit. Alright, alright, alright. It's the 1980s. 1990s. So, it might be here. It might be right here. Let's look for it. There we go. Maybe this here. This one? Oh, I almost fucked that up. Oh, I almost fucked that up. Here are the files starting with K. You said 1990s, right? From what I remember, it said 1990s. Oh, was it was 1980s. Fuck. Mm, nothing on Kirsten. Fuck. This might be the right disc. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It said 1990s, right? We need to go find around 1990s. That should be a piece of cake, right? Oh, I can't move that. Oh shit! I have to. Move. All right, it might be here because. It's freaking locked by the fucking shit the room. 
Alright, alright, alright. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, Mr. Krabs. I got it. I know what to do now. It's alright over there. Right over there. I'm pretty sure. Because of the game mechanic shit. By the way, you might be asking, what the fuck is that thing on my microphone? Well, that thing, my boys, is my fucking suck. You know why? Because I'm using the suck as my freaking pop filter and shit. So whenever you see like pop, 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 it will be, it will cancel out a little bit, just a little bit, you know, yeah, just to get a little bit quality of a, oh shit, just a little bit quality of a voice, you know. So right here, I'm guessing. Please let this be the right one, huh? Ah. Light the Just one, need please. To check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Okay, okay. Let's go check Haru. Check Haru, check Haru. Check Haru, Haru, Haru. Alright, I'm here at the computer terminal. Let this be the correct one. Oh, please, Haru. Oh, it's correct. The sound was gone. I think I found it. Yes! Just the file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Mm. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert, Robert Mitchell. Mitchell. Mm. So we need to find Robert Mitchell. And have some friend playing daughter. Carla too. asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Oh my god. Fucking copyrighted music again. Oh my god. Sometimes I have a love and hate relationship doing a let's play with this guy. Because holy shit, the music are quite good. But I might, Yo. I always get copyrighted of it because of it. Um, is this cough? <clears throat> uh, just... Excuse me. Oh, oh, I am sorry to cause waiting on you. Your presence here brings honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you uh, Oh, shut. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Uh, expertise. I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the washer's well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I sell here. Too bad. Thanks anyway. At least I tried. Wait. Is that it? Wait. Did I pick bad? Holy shit, I think I picked bad. Yep, I fucked up, I guess. You fucking fucked up, I guess. Because I didn't want to tell him that I'm fucking I'm a police officer and shit. Because some people might really get thrown off. He said, "Oh, I'm a police officer, and I think one of your books did something good, or uh, did something bad." Wait, the owner of your book did something bad, or the one who rented your book did something bad. You know, something like that. I don't know. I know a lot of people are like been fucking been investigated and shit by the fucking police. Oh shit, what was that? And I pretty much know they get pretty nervous when they got questioned to do shit. Looks like I'm doing this on my own without the fucking permission of the fucking librarian, alright? Alright. It's magnifying key with a joystick or directional keys. Okay, there's... N well, so far there's nothing on the fucking front page, so that's pretty much expected. Let's change it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing yet. There's blood stain. We might see it, but there's nothing yet so far. Nothing out of the blue. Mm hmm. About this. Oh. There's something handwritten in pencil here. 
to my brother for his 18th birthday, MK. Hmm, interesting. More, 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 more. Oh, there's nothing yet. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Oh, fuck. Get that piece of paper. A torn piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. Fell out of the book. Must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. Okay, so is that pretty much it? I think I pretty much did the digging on my own. Without the help of the fucking librarian and shit. Do I need to talk to him again? No, there's no need. Ah, uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. Okay, you should have said, said that earlier. One grant or the very rare book. Since this morning, I looked for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? Of course you are in a fucking video game. With the I didn't say the B word. I didn't say the word. But you are in a freaking video game. Just saying. Alright? Just saying. So what book title or what collection is this in? Cave Nang Kadas. Editor de Gronto Law. Wait. Don't have to use the fucking magnifying shit to know more about it? Alright, I think it's right over here. Well, there's a fucking card here, so I might well take a look at it. Or get it, I mean. Do, do, do. It's just a bonus shit. I don't know if there's any significance into it. Ah, I saw this in the cutscene. Cutscene, just a little bit of cutscene. Oh, fuck. Who was the author again? Fuck, I fucked up. I need to remember the author. Alright, let's see again. Fuck it. Right. At least I know we're making progress around here. Sorry about that. Kinda of forgot the name of the order. Name of the order, please. Edito de Grontola. De Grontola 1796. Alright, we have to look for 1796. So I don't know how the f Okay, this is just two. So I'm guessing this is the one below here. I have to look 17. Nine six. All right, which number? Look. The fuck? I think he's waiting for me to bring back his stupid book. What the fuck was that? I was scared of my life. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Other than numbers, then there's no number indicating wretch. One is it? Do I just leave? Now I could go back to the office, but maybe Takeo could have told me a little more. Just fucking leave! I don't fucking care about that shit anymore. That fucking old man shit, piece of motherfucking piece of shit, trying to look for me for a book. Well, fuck you! That's it. I'm fucking ended up. Let's play over there. Jeez. There's no indicating where to find the book. It just said red cover. It says the author name was Di Grotola. 
the number of the row that you can find the book was 1796 and I couldn't find it and you was like I know you know what you know what I fuck it you know just, I just leave and I said to the old man and nope you know old man I'm just gonna leave you know why because you might not give me some valuable information about Lucas but if you do I don't want Lucas to be captured you know so I'm just doing myself a favor as a main character of Lucas right here to save his ass you know what I'm saying I'm not a bad video game player I'm just bad when it comes to puzzles and shit and because I don't I don't have any much time left and yeah so that's all the time I have to playing Fahrenheit the Indigo Prophecy the remastered hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of let's play of me and I don't know, I just kind of kept quiet a little bit in this episode. I don't know why, maybe because it's been a long time since I did a fucking commentary video. You know what? I, you know, I'm gonna be the only man there. No, I'm gonna be the only man there. I'm gonna be the only man there. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but I, I just like saying it like that. You know? You know? You know? You know? So that's the other time I have into playing Indigo Prophecy, the remastered. So as I see you in the next video, bye bye.